What's up guys? I know that the majority of you do not live in downtown Sacramento. In fact, I don't even live in downtown. I live in midtown Sacramento myself. And for those of you that typically work downtown, you're probably working from home right now. So it's easy to forget about what's going on. So in today's video, I want to give you a full tour. No fancy editing, just simply a tour of the current state of downtown Sacramento. Let's go. The first problem with downtown is that the arena, the Golden One Center, is currently closed. This is what brought most people downtown in the first place. There are no events right now, no games, so people really have no reason to come downtown that don't live here already. The second problem is that most office workers that typically work downtown that would be supporting these local businesses and restaurants are currently working from home. There's Kaiser right here. So of course they're all still working there, but in general, all the state workers, everyone else that works downtown is currently working from home, including myself. Punchbowl Social has been closed since the start of the pandemic. I still see stuff inside. Hopefully that's a good sign. This was one of the main pregame spots before the pandemic hit. They announced they were closing, I thought, at the very start of the pandemic, but as you can see, there's still everything inside. So hopefully that's a good sign. I always thought this was a fun spot before games. As you could imagine, nightclubs are currently closed in Sacramento, of course. This place never even made it before the pandemic hit, so thumbs down on them. They made us wait outside for 30 minutes in the cold when they first opened in like late 2017 or so. So of course they didn't make it before the pandemic, but I do miss other places such as Social Nightclub, London, Mix, The Park, all the places that we typically hit before the pandemic hit. Even though the Golden One Center is closed right now, don't be afraid to come visit the Doko. There's a lot of amazing stores still open. Identity right there. We have Get a Clue. Always a cool spot. A lot of good restaurants and places to grab ice cream and everything here in the Doko. So make sure you still come and support while the Golden One Center is still closed. Even some amazing street art. Macy's is right here. Definitely still worth checking out. The bank is one of the most beautiful buildings in Sacramento. It has a mezzanine at the top. Grab drinks up there. They have a main area with a full bar. Cafeteria surrounding it with multiple food options. A basement with a ton of beer. And as you can see, they currently have picnic tables out front. But this place has basically been closed the entire pandemic. Can't go there when indoor seating is not allowed. And it's either too cold, hot, or even smoky to eat outside. As you can see, there are boarded up windows everywhere still, not necessarily because these businesses are closed, more because they're worried about getting damaged further. They often have to pay out of their own pocket. It's just something they no longer care to risk. Kicks Unlimited was one of the first businesses that was looted back in June, 2020. As you see, it's absolutely empty inside. This is where everyone came for their rare shoe needs, Yeezys, Jordans, anything you think of. If you're in the shoe game now in Lemon, Sacramento, unfortunately, we no longer have a store to go to. Here's one of the most popular gyms in Sacramento downtown, 24 hour fitness. I used to work out there myself, but it's been closed most of the pandemic because indoor workouts have not been allowed. There's really no spot they could bring all the equipment outdoors to set up an outdoor gym, like some of the other places in the surrounding suburbs here in Sacramento. This old school watchmaker is also one of the first places looted back in June. Everything's boarded up right here. I really don't know if they're in business still or not. We also have a haircut place next door. I have a feeling they're in business, but once again, boarded up just as a precaution nowadays. You never know. K Street's currently the nicest street here in downtown Sacramento. Plenty of new businesses got off to a good start in 2019. Since 2020 hit, these businesses have been open and closed the whole time, but starting to look good again. Everyone's open. 
I haven't seen any of these businesses close yet. Just over on the opposite side of K Street where I just showed you these businesses are looking good overall, it's still as well, Malton Nash, El Rey closed, I believe, because there's a shooting before the pandemic. A couple other places that look to be open still. Of course, we do have some brave restaurants that decided to open during the middle of the pandemic. Shout out to them for being brave and surviving so far. Some of these restaurants and businesses are open still. Others are closed. But overall, I'm really impressed with how clean it is here on K Street right now. We're at Shreve Jewelers right now. This was also looted back in June. Good for them though, no jewelry or anything was stolen. Mostly the store was basically thrashed stuff. So hope to see them open again soon. We're farther down on K Street now. This is where businesses have been hit harder. We have CalFit right here. I think it's only closed because we can't work out indoors right now. Dive bar, unfortunately, piece of rock closed. Across the street, we have National Proper. They opened during the pandemic, so good to see them still going. Some of the best hot chicken sandwiches here in Sacramento. And then just off the K Street through here, we have the California State Capitol. Each side of me, businesses are either boarded up or closed. Even the Capitol was fenced off recently during the inauguration, just so we won't have any issues here like they did in the Capitol in DC. Just across here, we have Claim Jumper. They're one of the first businesses to close when the pandemic hit and indoor dining. Dining in general got shut down. One thing I've noticed is that these chain restaurants close way faster than small businesses. It just goes to show how small businesses are more determined to stay open in general. Let's keep supporting them in downtown in Midtown Sacramento. We have Tony's Deli right here. It was looted twice back in June. Really good Italian deli. I'm not sure if they will make it or not once the pandemic is over. This is a good sign though right here. They're directing their mail next door, so it means they're still associated to this spot. Hope to see them back soon. One thing that hasn't stopped during the pandemic is new construction. We have the Sacramento Convention Center right across the street here. It's coming along very nicely actually. New construction throughout downtown Sacramento, apartments, buildings, office buildings. It's nice to see Sacramento growing. We're in front of the Sacramento Memorial Auditorium, so this is where I consider we're back in Midtown. Hope you enjoy that little tour of downtown Sacramento. Across the street is where P.F. Chang's used to be. They got looted bad back in June also. Closed down, they're no longer there. All right, let's head back to my apartment. All right, we are back. It's easy to forget about downtown Sacramento right now because the Golden One Center Arena is currently closed for business and everyone's working from home. However, there are plenty of local restaurants and businesses that are still open that need your support. So make sure you check them out. I'm confident that downtown Sacramento will make a full rebound once this pandemic is over. This video was inspired by German and Business. He makes interesting videos about the current state of downtown LA and also Venice Beach. Make sure you check him out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. New videos weekly. Guys living on the grid lifestyle, photography, and filmmaking tips in general. See you next week. I'm out.